about to do for some kind of catastrophic event. WB-17's Kirk clients, are you ready? What it's doing right now is finding the resident frequency of uh, Kirk's head, more or less, of his brain. Um, so we're ready to start now. Ah, years ago and far yeah, away, in the morning. along the beautiful shores of the Monterey Bay, I was enjoying life as a morning district. Casey! I just love waking up in the morning with that! Your mornings will never be the same. Casey in the morning. Then this happened. It's really a matter of luck. If the hurricane touches land... Kadon changed ownership. I was out, but on my way to Europe to be one of the very last breakfast show hosts on Pirate Radio. Mother Nature's getting it on with us today and not to deep in the Southern North Sea. The link for a taste of what was laser hot hits is below. Coming back to the U.S., I was only going back to TV if I could get a job at the beach. TV7 weather. I'm Kirk Klein at Gulf World. Here I am as the weatherman on the very first show that Shepard Smith ever anchored. This is like Death Valley. They even have a uh, flash flood watch in effect wow. for the deserts of uh, Southern California. The cost of the repair of this street now is staggering $744,000. To put that in some kind of perspective, that would be about enough to buy all of the houses on this side of the street from here all the way down to... <laughs> just about here. Especially on a gloomy day like this one, there is little doubt that seasonal affective disorder is real. And while most health professionals agree light therapy can help, not everyone agrees what kind of light works best. Meteorologist Kirk Clyatt will do just about anything. While grateful for all the amazing adventures that I've had along the way, I'm ready for a few more. Sea oh. trials at the Naval Academy. Kirk tried to hold his own with the plebes finishing their first year at the Academy. I should have waited for the WWF. One, two, three. One, two, three. I am going to need to be rescued shortly. This was about the only easy thing I did all day. I pretended to be drowning, which wasn't too much of a stretch, and waited to be rescued. Up. Down. After anything but a relaxing time at the pool. Don't come in the ring if you're not ready to fight. God, I'm gonna get killed. But a huge special response unit is coming in now. So this is a man who is clearly prepared for a long battle. And at this point, I'd be surprised if he comes out of there alive. Of course. One thing that I was surprised to find out is just how fragile shale rock is. You can literally frack it or break it with your bare hands. And with Memorial Day comes the start of summer. It also brings an unwanted visitor from the tropics, hurricanes. In the Atlantic, hurricane season is the six months from June 1st until November the 30th. Deborah, it is just wild to be out here. If anything, the winds have picked up a little bit. The winds are well up above tropical storm force. It's not something you want to be out in. Whoa! Can you believe it for a few days? We won't get to enjoy beautiful weather like this. I'll show you why with your complete weekend forecast. Because I live in an area that uh, it looks like it's going to be evacuated, and I am not the most religious guy in the world, but I am praying the waters stay out of my home on 2nd Street, and I know many, many people are. You ever have one of those days you get to work, and the first thing you do is go, is go catch some hail? You want a hand shot? A little hail action. Rings. They're rings like in trees. See, here's a good one. See if you can get a shot of that. See, it's that one right there. The new warning system would help give us the time we would need. So if you're ever by any calm shoreline and the water suddenly retreats, don't run out to pick up shells. Get to higher ground. You might want to go ahead and shovel what you can while you can, and then hopefully that'll be less you'll have to clear from your walks and driveways as the storm does continue. Larry? Steve, this is a, an amazing storm. Now, we might not have gotten the Super Bowl in Philadelphia, but we certainly have the Super Bowl of weather. Kathy in Montgomery County, as I mentioned, this is the Super Bowl of weather. So she was asking, she saw the same folks on last night that she sees on this morning. She was asking, do we ever sleep? And the answer is, during these kind of storms, not very much. And that's uh, moving into the Philippine Sea. So some uh, very active weather in the Pacific. Not very active in Europe. Things are looking pretty nice. High pressure dominates from the uh, southern Mediterranean all the way through eastern Europe. As much as I love it, I'm not quite ready to retire to this rocking chair. Oh, result? Yeah, no, you're not going to believe it. Oh. oh my God, I did. I broke my hand.
Last year, I remember you were proud of showing your yeah. hands, saying no hey, gloves. That's right. You're <laughs> gloveless in Philadelphia two years in a row. Can you believe this? Of course, the parade been going on since 1901. And, you know, if Mother Nature was here, just give her a, mm, give her a big kiss on the lips for this weather that we've got. What we've got here, the red hat ladies. Now, I understand. What, you're over 50? We're over 50. No. We just want to have fun. No. They have township, New Jersey. We rock. You've had more, you're one of the few people here having more fun than me. Oh, we're having a ball. Did you see our four-poster bed? That's right. Wait a minute. Red, how, how'd you get here? Well, I'm the bus driver. I brought him up, and uh, they've I marched up the street with him, and I had a ball. <laughs> they've converted the bus driver, the Red Hat ladies. They are, I can tell Philadelphia's for fun. <laughs> Back to you. Have fun. Don't keep him in control, would you, on the way back? Well, that's going to be hard, but I'll try. Do what you can, all okay. right? <laughs> I think these folks are having even more fun than I am. It's getting so hot out here. January 1st, and it's hot! you got to love it, Steve. More like the summer mummers. Yeah, the summer mummers. <laughs> you bet. It certainly is. So it was wild yesterday. No matter what your needs, weather, in spite of my unusual start, I do hold the AMS and NWA seals. Any type of reporting, anchoring, and... Uh, Occasionally, sports. It was the Super Bowl of the Southern Hemisphere. Not a nothing in your sports cast about it. How could I have possibly overlooked that? <laughs> I don't know. Unbelievable. I can't believe I didn't know about it. The AFL goes back to 1850. Go on. You know I love Australia. My second job is a USA News reporter for Australian radio on Monday through Friday. You can hear me in Perth and other stations around the country. This weekend, it was their Super Bowl. It's called the Grand Final. My team from Perth, the Fremantle Dockers, showing some nerves in their first Grand Final. Final here, Nathan Fry, he kicks it wide here. It's called a behind. You get one point for that. The much more experienced Hawthorne Hawks showing some great ball movement here. They lost in the final round last year, James, will remember, to the Sydney Swans. Oh, right. And yes, <laughs> kick here. Oh, it's a goal for Hawthorne to take a commanding lead. Uh, they were the favorites. Dockers fought back. They yeah. always do. These guys, oh my gosh, they don't need no pads. They don't need no pads like in the NFL. I wasn't expecting it, but you really got yourself into character for this one. Well, it's like a journey back into time, back into my youth. It was with the first extreme sport. And now, the Kirk and James games. Party like it's 1399, yes! Even something as simple as Pet of the Week can turn into adventure television. Hey, it's Pet of the Week. It's a Friday. Davidson is here. And, you know, he was with the family, but unfortunately they had to leave. They had to go out of town, move to a new location, leave him behind. So their loss can be your gain. Hey, this is a whole lot of dog issues. <laughs> right here. So right now, he's not recommended for kids under 12, but he's great with other animals. So hey, this summer, you haven't gotten out there and gotten in shape like you wanted. Tell you what, get my friend David from here. <laughs> You'll get a great workout. A great dog. Good to see you this weekend at the Harrisburg Area Humane Society. You make a great friend and a great workout buddy, that's for sure. Is Davidson okay? Kirk, are you okay? I'm okay. That's, that's a okay. active dog. Here. All you need to know is that that's you can bring your kids to work. That's right, bring your kids. Have if as I much. can bring my dog to work, you can bring your child to work. Have as much fun as we are, that's for sure. We'll be back with our friends from Leg Mesa. Give us some insight on what's going to happen next in this crazy market. It can't be any crazier than this show. <laughs> Bye. That's what's going to be next. Fox 45 Morning News. <laughs> Oh, That's now he's wonderful. my friend. That's right. My friend. And these That's are part right. of the traveling zoo exhibit. That they you are guys part of the have. traveling. And we this actually. This is a little intimidating to have this, um, <laughs> these like large quills right in front of me. I could use it as the weather pointer. So this is something you, you've never. I won't drop it. You've never seen before on television. That's an invisibility cloak. I'm invisible. <laughs> So that's pretty much how an average day goes for me. No, I've had the chance to hang out with over 30,000 kids, well, thanks to weather in the classroom. By the color green. Talking about the weather. <laughs> I think I'm being attacked here. To find out how to get me to your school, log on to WB17.com. A change of season brings colder weather. Believe it or not, we're actually closer to the sun now than we were last summer. So why isn't it warmer? Because the earth is tilted. <laughs> A little moisture, a little energy, you put them together, you get a cloud. Water droplets form bigger drops, and it rains. If the cloud gets too big, we get all kinds of things, like hail, lightning, 
Madden Tornado! Catch WB17's Kirk Lyon. My two kids have grown up on TV. Oh, now this is cool. Oh, so we don't have to worry about seeing any ghosts in the daytime? No. Not even Casper? Well, sometimes Casper will come out. Oh, he does? In a shady spot. Pleasure to meet you, sir. They let me out on the field today. Can you believe that? Now, look at this. Michigan J. Frog and Finley. They've become close this summer. They've made some appearances together. I had the honor, along with my son there, Zane, they let me throw the first pitch of the ball game. Zane wanted to do it. We're going to wait for next year for him, though. And look at this. Oh! So it's great to be out there, part of our Sunday Sunday program with the River Sharks, where all kids at the end of the game get an ice cream sundae. We just weren't forecasting the weather. We were in it. That's right. I had to go pick up Kylie down on the Gulf Coast. So I got the joy of going through it, not once, but twice through Man. Hurricane Danny. While we were going through those spiral rain bands last night near Mobile, we came up with a little poem about the Hurricane Index. Oh. One can be fun, two boo-hoo, three or more get out the door. You better believe she it. She knows her stuff. It's no. an experience. Let's show you what she's talking about. This is the Saffir Simpson Hurricane Index. Yeah, notice I have duct tape on his gloves and his boots. That's my tip for parents. If you're not used to having your kids out in the snow, duct tape the boots and gloves. It works really, really well. Too hot for me, so I had to turn over my first pitch duties, yes, to a younger generation. Zane, how does it feel to throw out the first pitch on your 10th birthday? A lot of hot, fun, and nervousness. Oh, yes, you know, it's like father likes them. That's what, you know, Christina, that's the way I feel most nights here on the job. Can you believe it? Here it is, Father's Day, and if you, like me, are a parent of an adult child, you think back and you're like, where, where did all the time go? Here you go, here's a weather five-day flashback. I'm tired of this, so it looks like it's going to be great for the Father's Day weekend coming up. Happy Father's Day! And a happy Father's Day to all the dads out there, too. Great. 85 degrees. Look, we're stuck on 85 with just a chance of some thunderstorms moving into the picture. Yeah, so, so there you go. Some things don't change. Look at this. A chance of thunderstorms and a high of 85. And... Happy Father's Day! <laughs> we haven't changed at all, have we? Look, just this, some things just don't change. There you go. Whew. In spite of Dad, my daughter Kylie, she's not great. That was when she was six years old. Oh, oh my God! And now Kylie, she's a graduate of Harvard and yeah. going to be starting medical school at the University of Pennsylvania in Philadelphia this August. She couldn't make Daddy prouder. I know. He talks Thank about you, you all the time. So Thank proud of you. you. Nice that you were able to be in here today, especially. In case you think I can't hold a job, for more than 12 years now, I've been a USA news anchor for radio stations in Australia. To Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and a weatherman extraordinary and all-round good guy, <laughs> Kirk Clyde, good morning. Uh, some days recently, I wish I'd just been the weatherman instead of out reporting news. We've been called. In that match, a world record number of runs were scored, 1,107. Imagine how long a baseball game would take if you scored over 1,000 runs. Somehow, I don't think there'd be too many fans left in the stands. I was able to get the job because of a sports sex scandal. The link with the details is below. Conspiracy of silence. We're entering day two of preliminary hearings for three men accused of covering up allegations against Jerry Sandusky. We have complete coverage from the courthouse. Plus, tolls on the rise. Starting next year, drivers will be paying more to take the turnpike. We'll break down the increase for people who pay cash versus uh, Easy Pass. And surprising remarks from the Pope. We have local reaction to Pope Francis' opinion on homosexuality and gay priests. Today is Tuesday, July the 30th live and thanks for joining us surprise back again one more time kirk Clyde in for uh, sherry christian and i'm steve knight and yeah great weather yesterday you brought right. some great weather kirk we, should... we begin this morning with the conspiracy of silence in just hours day two of preliminary hearings will begin for three former penn state officials accused of covering up the jerry sandusky child sex scandal former penn state president graham spanier retired vice president gary schultz and athletic director tim curley are all accused of failing to tell police about an allegation against sandusky and then trying to hide what they knew a judge is deciding whether prosecutors have enough evidence to take their case to trial cbs 21's brandy mang is at the courthouse in harrisburg she'll have more on what we can expect today coming up in just minutes. 
New this morning, a stabbing investigation is underway right now in Cumberland County. It happened just after midnight in the 400 block of North Hanover Street in Carlisle. Police say a man was taken to the hospital for his injuries but is expected to be okay. Officers also say another man was taken into custody and is at the Cumberland County Prison awaiting arraignment. More information is expected later today. Stay with us for updates. What is truly an amazing story, a Lancaster County woman is recovering this morning after she was stuck in this mangled SUV for nearly 20 hours. Police say 18-year-old Brooke Spence crashed about 11 o'clock Saturday night in West Hempfield Township. It wasn't until 5 the next evening that Brad Shear noticed a wreck in a ditch near his home. He says he approached the SUV expecting not to find anyone alive inside, but to his relief, immediately made eye contact with Brooke and told his wife to call 9 I said, oh, my name's Brad. Police say Brad's actions saved Brooks' life. At last check, she remains in serious condition at a local hospital. Pope Francis is uh, coming off his successful trip to Brazil with a breathtaking surprise, his seemingly open remarks on gay priests and homosexuality. The Holy Father made the comments yesterday to reporters about gay people and the role of women in the church. The pontiff said, quote, if a person is gay and accepts the Lord and has goodwill, who am I to judge them? Pope Francis also says he won't judge priests for being gay. The Pope also addressed the possibility of female priests, saying that the church should embrace their church work but not embrace them as ordained priests. Now, people here in central Pennsylvania are speaking out about Pope Francis's comments. We talked with Father Shawicki of St. Mary's Church of the Immaculate Conception in York, as well as local Catholics. Keeping an eye on entertainment this morning, Hollywood's biggest names came out to give us a sneak peek at CBS's new primetime lineup. CBS 21's Terry Garcia spoke with the stars from your favorite returning shows and the celebrities headlining several new series that you'll see this fall. Robin Williams this morning. I, I am glad to see Robin Williams coming yeah. to CBS. Robin's one of those great guys. He makes me seem like calm and reserved. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to disagree with you there. <laughs> That's amazing. All right, we've got uh, some beautiful weather building in. In one story, even correctly predicting the future, and not as a weatherman. You'll never again be able to use the excuse, hey, sorry I was late. I got lost. Heading on Bruin Park Drive. Made it to work right on time, and it is amazing how quickly the technology is advancing. GPS could, in a smaller way, take a similar path to that of the Internet. Remember at the beginning of the decade, no one had heard of the Internet, and now everyone has. GPS could have a similar future. Now, the software, at least from Traver, is very polite because if it gives you commands, tells you where to go, and you respond, thank you, what does it say? You're welcome. There you go. It's the back of the pack runners that really experience the, the frustration of running the marathon. That's right. We have to be out here in the heat for five That's hours. That's right. The fast guys, they're they done. Get a, they get it over with. They don't experience the, the, the joy. You know, the joy. That's right. The, the heat. Uh, the fun of the fun. Uh, talking. Yeah, that's run. right. Let's go ahead and show you the uh, five day. It is a joyous yeah, weather day. Yeah. 82 degrees today. It's warming right? up. Yeah. What, 20. Else, what else could you do on a Saturday night? That's right. What else? Go out and kill 86 yourself. tomorrow. But look, rain is on the way to yeah. cool us off by next week. Yeah. So He's we're playing golf, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So we'll look, keep running. And right. I'll talk to you later, Jack. Wish me luck and make sure I got some oxygen for me, okay? Yeah. See ya. <laughs> Good job. I say, hey. Two, one! Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> Two, one. Bye. Bye. Our Kirk client.